Hi there, it's Dolls, Toys, and Game Scout. My daughter asked me if we could open up the new Project MC Squared doll, Devin DeMarco, and do her experiment tonight. And I thought, why not? We'll do it and we'll review her at the same time. So Devin DeMarco comes with a make your own puffy paint experiment. So I'm interested to see how that works out. And um, I think that she is a very cute doll. We'll open her up and take a look. This side of the box shows us that she is the art part of STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And I also really like how they come up with a cool, um, you know, word from the periodic table. In her case, it's boss, boron, osmium, and sulfur, using the periodic table element symbols. So um, back of the box is just describing how puffy paint works. Um, the flour makes the paint thicker, the salt forms crystals to make it appear sparkly, and then food coloring and drink mix provide the color, and after the water evaporates, the paint stays and is puffy. Here it just tells you uh, what you're supposed to do, and um, here is a picture of the new Project MC Square dolls in this wave. So can't wait to get them all, and I will be reviewing them all for you, hopefully. Okay, we have pulled Devin DeMarco out of her box. Let's take a look at what she comes with. She comes with this backpack accessory, which I'm very excited about because it is functional. It does open, and there is a piece of tissue paper in there, I'm sure to help it hold its shape. And it comes, and she comes with um, two paint tubes with caps and nozzles. She also comes with a beaker comb, like the other dolls do. Now I could have sworn the other dolls came with stands, maybe I missed something, but I did not see a stand. And an instruction sheet. So here is Devin DeMarco out of the box. Now first thing I notice is her very striking eyes. They almost look purple or light violet in this, in this light. Look how detailed those inset eyes are. And of course I love her rooted lashes. She's got um, blue streaks in her black hair. And one thing I really think is cool about Project MC Square Dolls is that their outfits are always separate. And so I think that that's really nice. One thing I wanna show you or caution you about is that my doll anyway, my Devin DeMarco is very bendy. Her joints bend too easily, so it's very difficult to get her to stand by herself, as you can see. I'm having a hard time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her in her stand. I've just borrowed a Project MC Squared stand so I can show you the three separate pieces of her outfit. So we've got this um, inner uh, black shirt with the zero on it, a jacket that looks like leather and white mesh on the sleeves, and these really cool pants that show these um, people figures in various different angles. A really long ponytail. Um, and, uh, oh, let me show you that she has earrings. I forgot to show those to you. Let's take a look at her earrings. Now, to me, they look like a nut inside a bolt, but, um, let's see if I can get a better angle. And there you can see her very cute profile as well. Beautiful doll. Oh, one thing I was obsessed about in the movie, the recent, um, season two, of Project MC Squared are these shoes. I love how they executed these shoes. I love the paint um, that's on the tops of the boots and I love how clunky they are. And I remember her walking down the hall in those clunky boots and thinking to myself, I need a pair of those boots. In case you're wondering if the backpack does go on her, it does. I slipped it over her arms and I'm gonna turn it around to show you that it does go on. All right, if there's any complaint that I have about this doll, it's that she's too bendy and she, her head can't even seem to um, hold itself at a straight angle, almost like her hair is too heavy. So even when I have her against the wall, she falls over easily. So now let's turn to her experiment. Looks like we're going to need flour, salt, powdered flavored drink mix. Hmm, we don't drink Kool-Aid in our household, so we don't have that, but looks like we're going to combine um, water with the drink mix to make the color and then flour with the salt and then add the two together, mix it up and then pour it into the paint tubes and then lastly try to paint. All right, so let's try it. 
Okay, so we have our flour and salt mixture, some water, and we're gonna do food coloring, and my daughter picked blue. So after adding the blue food coloring to the water, we're adding that combination to the flour and the salt, and now it's time to mix. So we're mixing, trying to get all the lumps out, and we're still mixing. Taking a while here. Okay, now we think it's smooth enough and it's time to pour the paint into the plastic baggie so that it can be funneled into the tubes. And now we filled up both tubes with our blue paint. So I decided to paint this Snow White picture and uh, I think the paint's a little runny. I don't think we did the best job of mixing the paint. And my daughter decided to paint this Princess Palace pet, I'm not sure whose pet it is, but I'll let you listen to her describe the paint. Out that it's very, very puffy, but still, <laughs> I don't really know. I think you just have to paint it all and then wait for it to evaporate, that's all. Yeah. Well, let me just show you that the paint did dry on my arm and also on my sweater. I hope this stuff comes off. Well, that was our review of Devin DeMarco. Let me know what you guys think of this doll, whether you'll be getting her, and let's do a shout out. So here's a big shout out to Leah Thomas. Thanks everyone for watching my videos. I hope you liked this one and will subscribe to my channel.